We would be honored if you would join us. Hey Star Wars fans, welcome to day 31 of the Phantom Manus. It's the last day, it's bittersweet, we've got Figure Friday, we're looking at the Jedi. Um, yeah, firstly, just, just thanks to everyone who supported this month, it's been a lot of fun. Um, it's taken a lot of effort and time to put a video out every single day, but I've, I think I've succeeded. I've succeeded. I set out what I wanted to do and, uh, I got it done. I got it done. Um, so yeah, we're looking at the Jedi. These are figures from 1999, uh, the Phantom Menace line. Uh, we've had a look at different versions of Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan already, uh, from the first episode of Figure Friday for the Phantom Menace. We're going to look at the rest, um... You know, there were some other characters that were released. We have had um, both Stacey Teen and Plo Koon. They came out later in the Power of the Jedi line. And then we had uh, Yario Puff. And we had Evan Peel and Yaddle. Other other notable additions that came later on in the, in the future. So let's just start off with Yoda. He is the man in charge. I still like keeping this figure on the shelf. Even though he's sort of the weird old puppet look. Which I I never disliked. I thought he looked a little bit strange. Um, you know. You know, it didn't didn't bother me as a kid. As I got older, I was kinda of like, yeah, you know what? If he's nine hundred years old and you go back thirty years, is he really gonna look that different? Um It was more so just just the sort of hair. I don't I don't know, it was it was a change in lighting, you know, he was we're used to sort of seeing Yoda on a dark murky swamp. You know, maybe some of those some of those details of the puppet that were highlighted in the Phantom Menace, you know, maybe a little bit more hidden on Dagobah in Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. But it's Yoda man. What's not to love about Yoda? Always always love Yoda. And the best thing was he came with his chair, his council seat. I love that. That was a, such a cool accessory. So good. Um, so we got Kiadi Mundi. You know, he had a purple blade at this point. You know, Samuel Jackson wasn't having any of that though. So canonically, Kiadi Mundi ended up with a with a blue blade. Um, but yeah, Hasbro got the, uh, slash Kenna got the creative license when they did the Phantom Menace figures and they were able to sort of play around and, you know, I think Stacey Team had purple as well and Kiati, uh, Plo Koon had, had yellow. So that, yeah, until Attack of the Clones where we got to see them all in action. A little bit of creative license there. Kiati Mundi here doesn't look like he's had a lot of sleep. He's got sort of dark. Dark purple op bags around his eyes. So yeah, Kiati Mundi. Next we got Adi Galia. So she has like a, a deep red, almost sort of magenta, magenta blade. Which is cool. And you're able to take take her robe off and display her without it as well. So that was cool. You know, it's not not Super duper articulated or anything like that. Just the elbow is probably the extra piece of articulation there. But either way, she was cool. She met her end in the Clone Wars against Darth Maul and Savage Press when she joined Obi Wan Kenobi on Florum. So we have Adi Galia. This is Mace Windu. You know, this was the first Jedi to be revealed for the Phantom Menace back in the day. And I have a cat on the back of my chair once again who's craving attention. And I have done a Power of the Force Friday episode for that very first release. The sneak preview figure, which this is. This is the sneak preview one. And I don't think there was any difference between the sneak preview one and the one that actually came out on the Phantom Menace card. 
We did Blue Blade. Like I said, Samuel Jackson wasn't having that. He was not going to stick with Blue. He got his Purple Blade. Don't worry about that. Come Attack of the Clones. He wanted to... Sam Jackson wanted to see himself on screen. In action. So he wanted the one Blade. We are only a week away from the Acolyte where we're seeing that the uh, different color lightsaber blades were quite populated throughout the Jedi Order, which is really cool. And we have young Obi-Wan Kenobi robed. I've had this figure since I was a kid. I know he's holding the wrong lightsaber, don't at me. But yeah, I thought this was a, was a nice counterpart for Qui-Gon. Always liked having that extra look of them in their robes. We do have Qui-Gon here, obviously. Just the, just the look, sort of just standing there casually holding the lightsabers, you know, being the sort of the diplomatic pair at the start of the film. But also ready to jump into action when they're needed. So I, like to, I do still like to keep these two on display. Part of my Phantom Menace shelf. Have them sort of chatting with TC14. She's offering them beverages. And then last but not least, we have Lilani from the end of the film. Yeah, he's got the little molded robe. He has had an update. This version of Anakin has had an update in the vintage collection. Is it a re-release in the vintage collection? Um, yeah, why they haven't updated the sort of Tatooine Anakin for, for three and three quarter inch vintage collection in a long time uh, is beyond me. It's kind of iconic. They've done him in Black Series now. Let's bring him into the TVC. Let's give little Annie his time to shine. You know what? This figure still kind of holds up. You know, you could just sort of chuck this guy in. You know, you could put him on your Revenge of the Sith shelf. He could be the... Master Skywalker! There are too many of them! What are we going to do? And you could probably just pull that off. <laughs> he could probably be that little kid that Anakin then goes and, uh, you know, he sorts them out. <laughs> he takes... He takes care of them. So yeah, there's little Annie. You know, he doesn't appear with the robe in the film, so you know, he's there at the end. Just just smiling at Padme with loving, loving eyes. So there we have the Jedi of the Phantom Menace. Again, I just want to thank everyone for your viewership, your support, your kindness, your comments. Uh, everyone that's given the video a thumbs up over the last 31 days. It's been nothing short of amazing. I appreciate it. It's It's been so good. Um, I just want to say quickly, long live the Phantom Menace. May it prosper. May it get the love it deserves. Um, but yeah, we're back to normal schedule next week for some more toy reviews. Action figure, uh, Power of the Force Fridays, Clone Wars Thursday throwbacks. I'm excited to get back into it. Hope you enjoyed this week, this month of May. Until then, may the force be with you always. Mm -hmm.